In this short video, I'll guide you through restoring an iPhone using iTunes Recovery Mode. If your iPhone is unresponsive, stuck on the Apple logo, or experiencing software problems that can't be resolved with a simple restart, Recovery Mode might be your best solution to bring it back to life. Sometimes, iPhones face software-related problems that can't be fixed through a normal restart or even a hard reset. If your iPhone gets stuck on the Apple logo during startup, enters a reboot loop, fails to update, or becomes unresponsive after an iOS update, recovery mode may be the best solution to restore it without losing too much data. This mode allows iTunes or Finder to reinstall the software, fixing most system-related issues. Today, we will walk you through this process to fix your iPhone 2. Hello, and welcome to the 3 Minutes Fix channel. With our years of experience, we've helped countless users resolve critical iPhone issues, including restoring iPhones using iTunes Recovery Mode. Stay with me until the end to learn what to do if the recovery fails or if your iPhone gets stuck in Recovery Mode. Now, let's get started on how to fix iPhone software issues using Recovery Mode. To start, make sure you have a computer with iTunes installed or, if you're using a Mac, you can use Finder. The steps vary depending on the iPhone model. For iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold the Home button and the Power button at the same time until you see the Recovery Mode screen. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold both the Volume Down button and the Power button at the same time until the Recovery Mode screen appears. For iPhone 8 or later to the latest iPhone 16, quickly press and release the Volume Up button, then quickly press and release the Volume Down button. Finally, press and hold the power button until you see the connect to computer screen. This is the recovery mode. Once in recovery mode, you'll see an iTunes or computer icon on your iPhone screen, prompting you to connect it to your computer. Before we continue to the recovery mode proper, if you're finding this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more Apple tips. Now, let's continue with the recovery mode. Launch iTunes or Finder on your computer. A pop-up will appear that says, there is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. You have two options here. The first is to update. This will try to reinstall iOS without erasing your data. It's ideal if you're looking to fix a corrupted iOS file. Another is to restore. This will completely erase your iPhone and install the latest iOS version. If the update option doesn't work, restoring is the final step to fix your device. When you click restore, iTunes or Finder will download the necessary software and restore your iPhone. After the restore, the iPhone will reboot and the software problem will be fixed. But what if the iPhone gets stuck in recovery mode and won't restore? It may continue showing the iTunes or computer icon for a prolonged period and fail to restore successfully. No worries. In the video linked here, I'll walk you through the simple steps to fix more challenging iPhone software faults using DFU mode when recovery mode fails. Tap to watch it after this. To explore more Apple iPhone video tutorials, click this card. Check the description below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. If you have a question or need more help, leave a comment and I'll be happy to assist. Thank you for tuning in.